everyone, my name is Mark Gall, and I'm speaking on behalf of SSDP, the Students for Sensible Drug Policy. And I apologize beforehand, my speaking skills are not up to par. I've never oh, spoken no. in front of such a large crowd. Uh, given the new political climate as the Irish director, I can say that the members of SSDP are very scared that we might lose the progress we made in drug policy reform. Since President Nixon could have war on drugs and then drugs public enemy number one, this war has disastrous consequences. The decades of the 70s, 80s, 90s were absolutely horrible. Mass incarceration, mandatory minimums, and other draconian measures pushed nonviolent drug offenders into prisons. There was the erosion of civil rights, the drug not rates, and the usage of civil assets and asset forfeiture. Drug users were stigmatized, shunned, and abandoned by their fellow Americans. The war on drugs was a tool of a, no, of a new Jim Crow. Neighborhoods which were predominantly people of color were policed more than neighborhoods which were predominantly white, despite the fact that drug usage among people of color and whites are identical. Despite the fact that the formerly mentioned issue still exists, luckily we've seen a shift in the past decade. We've seen America embrace an approach uh, to drug use based more on health, science, and common sense. There's been a push to recognize drug users as human beings, not degenerates. There's been a push to treat drug abuse as a health issue, not a criminal one. We've seen a successful effort in this country to increase access to sterile needles, reduce penalties for drug offenses, increase access to medical marijuana, the push for decriminalization of possession, legalization of recreational marijuana, and much more. We are scared that the new Presidential Administration Congress can turn back the progress we have made. Since there is no federal law recognizing state legal medical and or recreational marijuana, we are afraid that the new administration will use the Justice Department to crush marijuana dispensaries, growers, shops, and users. We are afraid of going back to the draconian punishments for drug offenses. We are afraid that drug abuse will be treated like a crime, not a health problem. We are afraid that civil rights are at risk and there might be an increase in no knock rates, civil asset torture. We're afraid that crack cocaine, mandatory minimum disparity will never be addressed. And we're afraid policies like stop and frisk will come back in full force. These are the few things that the students for sensible drug policy are afraid of. And I'm sure many of you are afraid of the same thing too. Thank you. Basically, on social media after Tuesday, I seen a lot of people saying to get over the results. It's uh, it's not personal. It's politics. And I want to read a little something I wrote that day. Uh, basically, uh, politics is personal. Uh, is politics not personal? Tell that to someone who has a pre-16 medical condition. Tell that to someone who's a who's an undocumented immigrant. So that to someone who is Muslim, so that to someone who's, by, who's been trying to save his family by finding refugee, refuge in this country, tell that to someone whose son could have been alive if his killer had to go through a background check, tell that to someone who can't get a job because their state legally allows the discrimination against them because they're LGBTQ, tell that to someone who had to raise a child before they're ready because they won't provide effective sex ed, access to contraception. decide to expand Medicaid, tell that to someone who faced police brutality because of their color, tell that to someone uh, tell that to someone who couldn't participate in our democracy because of our voter ID the voter ID laws requiring a mythical creature of voter fraud. So basically I think you get the point. Uh, don't ever say politics about personal. Politics is, is personal. Why would we give a shit if it wasn't really? Why would I be here if it's not personal? All of the actions that we're concentrating, that's really like the stuff that 